What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to fix microphone problems and improve your overall audio quality for Rust. This should be quite an easy tutorial, everything you need will be listed in the description below. First, open up Rust and navigate to your options. Here in the audio tab, make sure that your master audio is not muted. Set the voices volume to at least 60% as well as your game sounds volume. Under Speaker Config, make sure to set the speaker mode to the audio system you are using. For my headphones, I will use Stereo. After verifying and applying your audio settings, you can close the game. Right-click the sound icon in your taskbar and select Open Sound Settings. Or simply search for sounds in your taskbar to get to your sound settings. On this window, make sure to set the output and input device to your main device. Under Manage Sound Devices, you can select to test or disable your devices. This is essential to troubleshoot any hardware issues. Also, testing your device with another source, such as a video on YouTube, will help you determine where the issue is coming from. In your Advanced Sound Settings, you can assign the input and output devices for each application, as well as changing the volume. After tweaking your settings, you can close this window and search for Device Manager in your taskbar search and hit Enter. On this window, expand Audio Inputs and Outputs. Here, right-click the output sound device you prefer to use, select Update Driver, and make sure to search automatically for updated driver software. This will take a minute to make sure that your device's driver is up to date. When this is done and the issue persists, then your game files might be corrupted. To fix this, open up your Steam Launcher. In your game library, right-click Rust and select Properties. Here in the Local Files tab, select Verify Integrity of Game Files. This will take a minute to re-download and replace any missing or corrupted game files. In case you still have audio issues, then your hardware might be faulty. Ensure yourself that your input and output device is working fine with other applications on your system. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.